Welcome. This is um, the business, career, and wealth reading. Um, as we shift the planet shifts and there are changes around us. So here we go. Liz, Liz, Liz. OMG, you guys have so many cards in reverse, Liz. All righty. Okay. So, Liz, you're dealing with the Knight of Disc. Okay. Now, the energy of the Knight of Disc in business, it is a young entrepreneur. For some of you, or a boss, a supervisor. But this person is really. Um, this is a sort of person who is, uh, um, slick in things, slicked in doing things. Okay. So you got to be aware of this person and whatever is transpiring you ladies, um, there is a lot because we have the night of this, this is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. And I see that this night of disc is on to um, you young ladies. So that is coming up in the week. Now, this young entrepreneur, because this is a young businessman, um, he could be working with you on the work floor, but this could be a young businessman. Now, ladies between the ages of 25 and 45, you got to be aware because this, this, this person is looking at you. This person is out however this person is coming up this person is looking at you you gotta be aware of what is transpire um in your life because this person whatever the issue is and the situation is this person is really um taking a good look at you okay and it's not in a positive form it is in a form that uh, you could be um really um working together with the knight of cups whoever this knight of cups is is a taurus virgo or capricorn now whatever is transpiring um we're going to be looking at work first for you guys on the work floor so i see a lot of people or uh, teaming up on the work floor uh i see this is teamwork going on the work floor but I see a cycle of the steam work is over in. So some of you could be changing department or um, changing location or changing around. There could be some changes going to be happening in the office. OK, so um, and this is if we are working on the work floor for other people in a corporation. So I'm seeing some changes It's as if uh, um, some of you were working in a team. The steam might be splitting up. So be aware of that now. Whoever this person is, they're coming up as a CEO or a CEO. Whoever this person is, they have their eyes on what is transpired. I see a lot of changes coming up for you, Leah's. Okay. Now I see a cycle coming to some of you, Leah's work in um the um the second week. So you Leo ladies. I see an end coming to your work in the second week because I see that someone, a man, a businessman or a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person between the ages of 25 and 45, there is something that this person either, it's, it, it could be your work because I see that someone could say that, yeah, your work is not, um, uh yeah it's, it's, it's as if they're saying either you're not on time at work or you're not finishing off your work but someone spills something on the supervisor because the supervisor has their eyes on you and it's not in a positive way so you leo's between the ages of 25 and 45 you got to be aware what is happening whether or to university whatever a college what is going on because i see um that there is someone this is this is not coming out very positive what i'm receiving this person is like a supervisor is someone who is the head of a team they found out something and they are they have their eyes on you so be careful now young leo ladies i see um your 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 work is going to be ending However, that is to inspire, um, whether it's 
you or and this is not for all of you just for some of you um and i see your the empress your your it's, it's as if it's going to affect your money and i see you have you see you're finding out the truth who um who have let you lost your work okay so you um ladies between the age of 18 and 45 it has to do with uh, um the night I, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn between the ages of 25 and 45. This man knows the connection between either you and someone that works on the work floor or the connection between you and a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. You both are in the same age group and this person find out what you two have done. So whoever you are, um, there's like eyes on you and on the work floor and your financial stability. However, this is going with your financial stability. I see that it is in the reverse. Okay. I see that they're going to be finding out something about your materialistic wealth, whatever is transpiring. So be aware you ladies. Now for the rest of you, I see that you could be connecting in teams, but whoever just just one young lady out there and obviously if you're you're you you're going to find this reading whenever you find this reading it's about your work it's going to come to an end because um it comes to an end in the second week and you're trying to figure out what exactly went on and then you are going to be finding out in the last week who and what has transpired okay so you're going to be finding out so if you have issues on the floor, especially you young ladies, you're going to be finding out. If I don't call you as um, the men or so, then it's okay. Business. For the people who have their own business, I'm seeing workload is too much. There is not much pro um, productivity um, in the first week, all right, because the workload is too much. There's not much productivity. So, um, it's like systems are down in the first week. As we look at the second week, I see that, uh, um, because whatever that's transpired, where the system is down, system is down, meaning the workload is too much. There is not enough people on the work floor to get this workload going. And I'm seeing no good production. Okay. No good um, it's, it's, it's as if there's too much going on. Okay. Just in the second week, you're going to be ending that cycle. Like you're going to be placing some new, um, rules and regulation. Okay. Cause if you notice for business, it's, it's all in the reverse. It's on the flip side. So it's all in the reverse. As we look, some of you, are going to be making a decision about a Pisces cancer or a scorpion. Whoever this person is, is between the age of 25 and 45. And the, the, the deceptiveness of uh, whatever is going on is really killing your business. And some of you are going to be deciding, um, should I go on with this partner? Or should I go on with this person who is basically killing my business? So that is something that, you know, people in business is going to be asking because people in business in the second week is going to make some decision. And the decision is going to be if your partner is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, I see you're realizing that this person is not healthy for your business. And you're going to be deciding whether or not you're going to buy out this person or res dissolve their contract or how are you going to do it? Because you realize that this is not the right person for your business because there is no uh, success that is going to be coming with this person um, on your team. There's absolutely no success. Some of you could be realizing that a Pisces cancer or a scorpion is more focused um, on you instead of focusing on um, to to um, to bring out the positive energies uh, or to bring out uh, the production that needs to happen. 
There's a whole lot of secrets. There is secrets. There are secrets. Um, there are teams and departments are working against each other for some of you at your workplace. Okay. And whatever is going on in your team at work, you have been kept out of this loop for some of you. So in the first week, whatever is going on at your team at work, I see that you are being kept out of this, whatever the issue and the situation is, because there we're seeing the energy of the deceptiveness that is playing and the energy of the power because the power is that is financial stability but there is um there is secrets too much secrets is going on um on the work floor i see some of you are ending a cycle and you could be um oopsie yeah some of you are ending a cycle and the cycle that you're ending because there is secrecy in the first week and second week. There is a lot of secrecy. It has to do with people in the team. Whatever that is going on, I am seeing in business, there is just everything is uh, um, it's as if there's too much to do and there's not enough personnel. And also on the work floor, there's too much to do. There's not enough personnel. So I'm seeing like business is flipped up. You, you're trying to figure out what to do. In um, the second week, going in the third week, I see that some of you um, are ending a cycle, ending um, a business cycle with someone, okay? Or ending a secret handshake that you have done with someone. You're ending the secret handshake that you have done with someone, okay? So you and um, you and a couple of people could have done some secret, some deceptive secrecy, and you're ending this. You want this to come to an end, and it's going to be coming to an end in the second week. Now, in the third week, you ladies, um, you're going to be realizing whatever is transpiring, you ladies, um, there is... A situation where someone um some of you ladies are are going to be having might get a new chance okay um but it's not a surety okay it's not a surety I see the energy of the lovers is here and some of you are looking for to go back to the same job or looking for something but the tower moment came down because I've you know this was kind of um, weird the tower moment came down so what is happening here is that some of you was hoping that the contract will be renewed for y'all for you but it's not going to happen 